Hey YouTubers. Whew. About to get tar. Been doing a little bit this morning. Uh I'm gonna make a little video uh show y'all what I'm got in mind here. Been uh watching videos of people making uh chum for uh, to attract catfish or pretty much anything, any kind of fish I reckon. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh I went by the feed store this morning, picked me up some stuff, and went by the grocery store and picked up some other stuff. And I want to show y'all what I got in mind here. I'm going to try this uh, chumming on, uh, making some chum bait. Probably take about a month for it to really be getting good and ripe, you know, so, the, so it'll attract the fish. They like anything that smells bad. And uh, But I want to make a little video to show y'all what I got going on. Went by the store and picked me up some scratch. And uh, basically it's ground up corn and barley and, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, uh, feed it to chickens and stuff. And then I got me a bag of corn. Got me some sugar and some yeast. And what the yeast is for is to, <coughs> excuse me, help break stuff down, you know. And, uh to get it uh, activated, you know, to get it to where it's going. Pretty much, the way they used to make moonshine back in the old days, is they'd take uh, sugar and corn, and, uh, which I ought not tell you all this, but you can find out, but they'd take corn and sugar, and they'd put it in barrels and fill it up with water and let it sour. And then, of course, then they had other process of how they turned it into alcohol, but... This is close to that, only I ain't going to do the further, the further part of it. I'm just going to be making some chum bait. And uh, on one of the videos, the guy said basically what it's doing is you're making drunk fish, I guess. But it's uh, it'd be something that'll smell bad and, and uh, probably attract them to where I'm going to be at fishing. Maybe catch me a mess. And of course, I ain't real big on eating fish, but I like fishing. It's relaxing to me, so. But I give them away, you know. And what you do is you take your sugar and your yeast and your corn and your scratch or barley or milo or whatever it is you're going to use and put it in a container with water and let it sit. And I'm going to be putting it in this old can right here and uh, let it sit for a while. Then, uh, See how it's going to work out for me. Hopefully it'll do all right. But maybe here in about a month we'll go out and we'll do some chumming and jug fishing or trout lining or something. And uh, we'll see how it's going to work out. So, uh, but I'll get all this stuff thrown in that bucket over there. And uh, once it starts work doing its thing working, I'll make a make another video and or turn my camera back on and show y'all how well it's doing. Alright, so we'll check back here in just a little bit, alright? 